of Education study shows that 10% of students experience sexual misconduct by a teacher before they graduate high school. Now that study is nearly 20 years old, but current studies show that little has changed since then. Experts say many of those students are groomed into believing they're in a romantic relationship with their teachers. In our continuing series, Crisis in the Classroom, David Winter investigates sexual misconduct in schools, how this abuse often begins, and how our laws are still allowing it to happen. He would put his hands around my waist and pull me in. And, you know, when I was upset, he would comfort me and his hands would fall in between my thighs. Um, I'm sorry. 13 years have passed since Ashley Nation left Silver Creek High School in Sellersburg, Indiana. But the feelings are still raw about the relationship she says she had with her drama teacher, Nathan Shule. Her relationship recounted in subsequent lawsuits. I didn't realize what happened to me until almost 10 years later. And um, it didn't happen in a day. Um, he was nice to me at first. He was kind. He was caring. And then his touches from my shoulder just being, you know, reassurance, those over time fell to places that they shouldn't have. It's called grooming when a teacher methodically builds trust with a student, then turns the relationship sexual. Ashley says while she was a student, she and Shul would kiss and he would grope her beneath her clothes. When she graduated, they began having sex, only to break up months after. Four years later, Shul would resign from Silver Creek amid allegations of having sexual relationships with students, outlined in this attorney letter to the Indiana Department of Education. Within months, North Central High School, two hours north of Silver Creek, hired Shul. He remained theater director there for six years before Ashley saw a picture of him on Facebook. And I found out that he was teaching and I, in a blind rage, I picked up my phone. I called the high school that he was working at and I told them that they had a predator working in their theater department. That brave call would lead to Shul getting fired from North Central and eventually agreeing to forfeit his Indiana teaching credential. He is now being sued by his latest school district for lying on his job application when they say he failed to disclose that he engaged in inappropriate conduct with students at his former school. He's also being sued by several students from North Central for sexual harassment. The suit claims Shul acted out sexual assault scenes with students alone in a dark closet, encouraged one girl to post nude pictures of herself, asked girls intimate questions about their sex lives, and discussed his own sex life with them. By the time this was occurring, Shul had already resigned from two previous school districts. 10% of students report that they are the targets. 10% of students, that's a big number, 10%. Uh, and we gotta stop it. We just can't have that much damage. Cheryl Shakeshaft is a renowned expert on sexual misconduct between teachers and students. She says situations like Shul's can be stemmed if legislatures would take action. The past the trash laws essentially say that you can't let a an admin, someone leave your school district without really officially firing them. You can't allow them to resign if they've sexually abused or crossed boundaries sexually with students. Ohio State Representative Adam Byrd is vice chair of the primary and secondary education committee. We asked him about the fact that Ohio does not prohibit a school district from allowing a teacher to resign amid allegations of sexual misconduct with a student. Shouldn't the legislature step in and say you cannot let someone resign, you must fire them? I like where you're going with this and I think that we need to do a better job of that. We also brought up that Ohio does not require districts to check references, the code stating only that districts may check with past employers. Why don't you write bills that would make these types of things happen? I think I should look into that. I appreciate you bringing it to the forefront today. Ashley Nation says she would appreciate the opportunity to ask school boards a single question. Why would you allow somebody who was accused of sexual misconduct to just leave? David Winter, Local 12 News. And the expert in David's story says parents should monitor how much attention their children are getting from teachers, monitor their kids' phones, and talk with their children about grooming. And we'll check back with Representative Byrd to see what action he might take after our reports.